to prepare the tripod for use, first remove the strap from the lower end of the uh, tripod and put it where you can find it at a later time. Then pull the hairpin clip out of the uh, adjustment pin and extend the leg to the full length. And you'll notice that there are letters on the side of the leg. Uh, that letter should be directly below the upper tube when you insert the pin. Then all you have to do is rotate the lower tube and the pin will go in without having to look at each hole in order to put the pins in. Notice that I rotate the tripod so that the, the label on the leg is to the top on each leg. The, it, it would be the center leg. This makes it very easy to uh, see the letters on the leg and it makes it easy to insert the pin. If you don't rotate it, then you're working against yourself. Take the rescue hauler from the bag and attach it to one anchor on the tripod. After inserting the carabiner through the anchor hole, uh, tighten the lock nut on the uh, carabiner in a, in a manner to where the nut moves downward as you tighten it. Then one person can lift the head end of the stretcher while another person keeps that center leg from uh, dragging on the ground when you try to uh, tip the tripod up. Then you can pull the legs out to their full extension. At that point, the, the feet on the tripod will be approximately eight feet apart. Reach up and take the uh, lower carabiner that's attached to the lower pulley. Pull it down where you can handle it and lower the pulley down to the point where the victim is going to be placed onto this uh, tripod. To collapse this uh, tripod and have it ready for uh, the next use, uh, using two men as we are right now, uh, just lay the tripod down, have the legs fairly close together, remove the rescue hauler, and then just do the reverse of what you did when you extended the legs. Pull the pin out of the leg that's in the center and move the leg all the way into hole L which is the lowest on the leg and once again you can tell if the holes are lined up because the letter on the outside of the leg, the letter L, would be just below the upper tube. Then you rotate it a little bit and the pin goes right in and then you put your hairpin uh, key in the, uh, into the pin so that it won't come out. Always work on the center leg because you can always see the letters are right on top. It's quicker to do it with one person the way it's shown here right now than it is to have two or three people trying to put the pins in at the same time. One person can do this job more efficiently and easier. Then turn the feet with to the uh, point where the pointed end of the feet would point upward to, towards the head of the tripod, put the feet together, and then place the strap around the lower leg uh, on all three legs. And this will secure the tripod, and the tripod or the strap will not slide up on the tripod, uh, making it uh, difficult to carry because legs could spread out if, if the uh, strap moves upward. And hold the strap uh, uh, by the upper leg and then pull on it and it gets it nice and tight. And an alternate method would be to use three people 
to uh, raise the tripod, one on each leg. So you set it up at the lowest point. You can move it over close to the area that you're going to be working and then attach the rescue hauler and pull the uh, lower pulley down to where you can reach it before raising uh, the tripod up to its maximum height which would be 10 feet at the anchors. One person on each leg will pull the pin out of the legs and together they'll lift the tripod up to the desired height. Be sure that everybody is at the same letter on the tripod so that the tripod will be level. Reinsert the pin and put the key into the pin so it can't come out. Spread the legs to the maximum where they're approximately eight feet apart and the tripod is ready for use except for the chain. Now before you use the tripod you must have the chain around the bottom. It will pass through the holes on the sides of the feet as shown here. There are two holes in each foot on the sides. Pass the chain through both of the holes on all three legs. and then you fasten the chain ends together with the screw length that's supplied. At that point you pull the legs out to as far as they'll go which will tighten the chain. And You must remember when you're pulling down on the tripod or when you ha are pulling out on the load, the load must remain inside the triangle uh, made by the chain. If you bring the tripod or the load out past the chain it could possibly collapse a tripod. All tripods will do this. I'll demonstrate that now. So now we'll pull the leg back out where it belongs and all pulling will be vertical and inside the triangle. To deploy the sked, uh, as, as the instructions on the sked says, remove the retainer strap and put it where you can find it later because you must have this strap to keep the stre stretcher rolled up uh, Otherwise, uh, it comes undone inside the bag and it's very difficult to get out the next time you use it. Now remember that plastics have a memory. They're like a spring. They want to roll back up after you unroll them. So to solve this problem, reach down underneath the roll lift up on it until the roll is uh, out to the full length then reverse roll the head end and if you're short walk up on a stretcher and take up a little make it a little shorter and uh, hold the stretcher as high as you can one foot on the stretcher one foot out to the side reach around the stretcher and fold it over your arm and then reverse roll it against your body this will make it lay flat do the same thing on the foot end of the stretcher and you will not have to struggle with the stretcher anymore. The patient can be rolled or dragged onto the stretcher and then to get him to the point where you want him, pull him down to where the upper chest strap goes across the upper chest uh, and this will have him in the right position in the stretcher and this will keep it from being too top heavy. At that point, 
I'd like to lift the